With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In the question we are given that if a plus b plus c equals to 0, then the equation 3ax square plus 2bx plus c is equal to 0 has in the interval of 0 to 1. Okay, so we are given an equation that is 3ax square plus 2bx plus c equals to 0 okay and we are also given that a plus b plus c equals to 0 so we need to find out that this particular equation has how many roots between the intervals 0 to 1 okay so let us suppose let us suppose the equation given to us is function is f of x is equals to 3 ax square plus twice of bx plus c equals to 0 right so f dash x that is integral part of this particular function will be equal to f dash x will be equal to if we integrate this this will come out to be equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx right this is the integral part now we are given that we have to find out the root between the interval 0 to 1 okay so let's suppose so if we put the value of 0 and 1 in the integral part that is f dash x so f dash 0 will be equal to f dash 0 that is putting the value of x as 0 so f dash 0 will be equal to a into 0 plus b into 0 plus c into 0 right this will be equal to 0 okay similarly if we put up the value of f as or x as 1 right f dash 1 right that is the value of x we have put as 1 so this will be a into 1 cube plus b into 1 square plus c into 1 right so this will be equal to a plus b plus c a plus b plus c and we are given that the value of a plus b plus c is 0 so straight away we can write it over here as 0 okay so that implies that that implies the f dash 0 that implies f dash 0 is equal to f dash 1 right is equals to 0 so we have got the integral part that is if we put the value of x as 0 and if we put the value of x as 1 we get the value of integral part to be equal to 0 okay therefore 0 and 1 are the two roots of fx therefore 0 and 1 are two roots of two roots of fx right 0 and 1 are two roots of fx now using rolls theorem using rolls theorem okay so rolls theorem says that rolls theorem will say that the if f dash x is 0 okay just now we have find out that f dash x is 0 okay if f dash x is 0 that is that is what is the f dash x f dash x is ax cube plus bx square plus cx okay that is ax cube plus bx square plus cx is equals to 0 and we are also given that f of x is 0 right because in the question it is given that this particular function is equals to 0 so f of x is 0 that is the function 3a square that is the function 3a square or 3ax square plus 2bx plus c is equals to 0 right that means that means this will apply that this will imply that f of x will have will have one root one root or at least one root we can write this as will have at least at least one root between the intervals between the intervals given to us were 0 to 1 because in the interval 0 to 1 the values coming out to be equal to 0 that is the integral values coming out to be 0 so therefore f of x will have at least one root between 0 to 1 so this is the answer of the question so if we check the answer we see that the option number 4 that is at least one root is the correct answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today